you ever been on a bad date with a piece of furniture? Today I'm here to show you what it's like when you're on a bad date with a piece of furniture. I've got a little disclaimer here. I'm talking about dating and I'm recently divorced. So for some, that might be a little bit hard to hear about. But uh, especially for my, my boys, uh, Luke is 14 and Troy is 11, and they would never want to hear about me dating. They know I do, but they don't want to hear about the stories. And so the good thing is, though, is that they don't watch my videos. I ask them to subscribe to my channel, and every time I put a new video out, I say, hey, Luke, did you watch Mommy's new video? And his answer is no. So I'm covered. So today, I'm working on this furniture makeover that's like a bad date. It's got all this yucky bleed through. See how I painted in Gravel Road, Debbie's Design Diary Gravel Road. It's a light gray color. And all of the old stain and wax and tannins from that is coming out in creating all this yucky blackness that kind of looks like mold, but it's not mold. And so what I'm doing is painting over it in black because you won't see any of the yucky bleed through with black. So dating is kind of tricky, you know? You never know if it's gonna go well or not. And I've been on some bad dates. In fact, one date I was on, it was the end of the date, and we were at my house, and we were hanging out, talking, and I brought up kind of a sensitive subject. And he called me a airhead, a bleeping airhead. Can you believe that? A man would call me an airhead? I was like, dude, get out of my house right now. <laughs> no one is gonna call me an airhead. I know I'm blonde and I can be kind of silly and stupid sometimes, but name calling for me, it just is not gonna happen. You know, I don't go for that. So that one is history now. I don't think he watches either. You know, dating, it's a big drag. It's not fun. I always know if the date's not gonna work out and go well if they wanna meet at Carl's Jr. first. I'm not a Carl's Jr. type of girl. I just don't like Carl's Jr. I do eat McDonald's sometimes, but I do it in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> Cause I don't want anyone to see me eating it. Uh, that's when I know the date's not gonna go well. And on a piece of furniture like this, I always know if it's gonna go well after the first coat of paint. And this piece of furniture, it ain't going so well. It's got a lot of bleed through. It's got bleed through up here. Uh, can see inside because I forgot to take a picture. I have a picture of it that I'll show you. You've probably already seen it by now. Um, but the color's broken. Uh, this was really dark wood. Look how dark it was. So I should have known, and I did know, I had a feeling that it was going to bleed through, and it did. I didn't want to go the shellac route because the shellac route is stinky and yucky and gross and it smells horrible and that restaurant is not my favorite kind of restaurant to go to on first date. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to go to the black house, the black restaurant. I'm going with Debbie's Design Diary. Almost hit me in the face. And I think it's black velvet. It's either black velvet or little black dress. But I can't tell because the tag's all scraped. Oh, here we go. 
black velvet. Okay. So, I'm just gonna paint it black. So this is my bad date furniture piece. Bad date furniture makeover. And I can tell you a story when I'm painting it. So, I've been having a lot of bad dates. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, it's like, <laughs> it's like when you're, you're on a date and you're looking at your phone, you know, to like, cause he's looking at his, so you're looking at yours, but you're sitting right next to each other. And all of a sudden the, the match app appears on your phone and it says one. So anytime you paint a piece of furniture that is old and has some stain and shiny surfaces to it, it usually will have bleed through on lighter colors. Obviously, if I paint it black, you're not gonna see the bleed through. Um, but I wasn't sure about this piece and I really didn't wanna go the shellac route and so I thought I would just throw on a coat of a light gray to see what it would do. And it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So, when you have bleed through on furniture, you've really got two choices. You can, well, three. One, you can shellac it. But this stuff, it works, but it stinks. And so you do not want to shellac in the house and you should wear a mask. Now, sometimes you have to shellac like two to three coats. That's what it would take on some pieces of furniture. So that's your first choice. Your second choice is to paint black because DIY paint in black on this piece of furniture here will not show any bleed through and then I wouldn't have any problems. And your third choice is to just dump it. But you know me, I don't like dumping old crap. I like to keep it and make it look pretty. So that's what I'm gonna do here today. So I hope you follow along and watch and that you'll be inspired, like I'm inspired, to create beauty out of trash. You know, trash to treasure, that's my thing. I'm going to take the transfer I'm not going to use and I'm just going to roll it up because I'll use it for something else. And so sometimes the decor transfers are just one big uh, piece of something pretty, but you can still cut them. So it's really fun to make um, your furniture one of a kind furniture. And that's why I am in love with these decor transfers. They are great for furniture upcycling, refurbishing, etc. And the and see how it bubbled. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera or not, but it bubbled a little bit, which is good because now I can ride the bubble.